Hey people, today we're going to check out a new weapon I'm yet to cover, and that's a new Jacob's pistol called the Yeti. As you know, Jacob's no doubt award the best pistols in this game, so is this another one of them? How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and today I'll bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out, and subscribe if you do want to see more. Also guys, before we go any further, for all your gaming needs with amazing discounts, check out G2A, linked at the top of the video description. So this Yeti pistol is a dedicated drop from the Yeti boss upon Skittermore Basin, and the route to this dude you will find at the end of this video, people. So this weapon, the little Yeti, I won't lie to you guys, it's a little disappointing. I expected much more for what this thing indeed offers. That could be because so many other weapons within this DLC have been unique, and even in many instances they ain't been that powerful, they offered something fun about them, which you would consider using because this Yeti, for me, doesn't take any boxes. Now this Yeti I probably had high hopes for due to other Jacob's pistols, like the King and Queen's Cools, the Maggie, the Seventh Sense, and a couple of others. And as you can see on screen now, this thing on paper is pretty powerful, with my variant dealing 4,333 times 2, so over 8k per shot shooting 2 projectiles at a time but only consuming 1 ammo. Kinda slow moving projectiles or shots considering other Jacob's pistols too, but nothing too bad. Its fire rate seems a little limited here also guys, and you definitely feel a cap on that trigger using a controller, and you can kinda see that within its stats. It also has a low magazine size to go with it. Now this also comes in a mash out variant, where it seems instead of 2 pellets being shot, it switches up to a higher number, in my case 6, but the damage drops significantly, and in reality it makes it weaker than the normal variant. And after my testings, it's a much much weaker variant, which to me is just bizarre. Now this weapon's party trick it seems is that it knocks enemies back under constant fire. This at first is fun to watch, but it gets boring after about 2 minutes and you're actually limited to certain enemy sizes too. Anything big you just don't knock back. Now during the knockback of those smaller enemies though, they just roll around all over the place and do not fire back. So in some scenarios that could help, but for me it just isn't good enough. It's a very gimmicky type weapon and to me I don't see the point in using this thing over other Jacob's pistols. Yeah for sure it's pretty powerful, but there are much much better options out there which deal way more damage and just are way more efficient. So yeah guys, I don't think there's much else to say about this thing besides I hope Gearbox apply a buff to this sometime in the future, because as it stands right now, I'd put this with some of the worst Jacob's weapons in the game, but that's just my opinion. So on screen now you can see the location and route to this Yeti to get this thing. If it looks useful to a build you have in mind or are currently using, that's great. Farm away people, but to me, that's going to be a rare instance. And on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. Just my thoughts on the little yeti. If you guys enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video, I upload can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one. <laughs> Oh, well.